This package right here has six random PS3 games inside of it. And I'm going to let Twitch chat decide which game I platinum. So let's head over to Twitch and open the package. All right, I'm opening the package. The first game we're pulling out is... Ooh, an Assassin's Creed game. Our second game is Everybody Dance. Can't do this one because I do not have the PlayStation Move. Technically our third game, but our second game would be Madden 11. Now you can get this platinum actually, but I already have it. All right, fourth game. Oh, even if I can't get the platinum on this, I don't have this. Our fifth game is Call of Duty Ghost. I'm pretty sure this platinum is available as well. Our final game another assassin's creed assassin's creed revelations the three games we have in the poll will be call of duty ghost call of duty modern warfare 2 and assassin's creed revelations i then created a poll and let people in the chat decide which game i'd be playing but as the dumb person i am i was unable to get the poll onto the screen until right after it finished you guys have decided call of duty modern warfare 2 wins the challenge not surprised on that one several months later i have the ps3 version right here as you saw but the disc does not work so the only thing really different is that we're playing the remastered version on my playstation 5 not the ps3 my first step like usual was to play through the campaign and take in the amazing story and earn whatever other trophies came my way all right so after beating the game i have 27 out of the 51 trophies and the first trophy that i'm going for is called the heart of they fall and to get this trophy i have to kill two repelling enemies before they hit the ground and i'm going to load up the mission exodus to do this so i need a helicopter to drop some enemies off i hear the helicopter where are they dropping this is my chance there we go. The harder they fall. I stayed in the mission Exodus to obtain the next trophy, which required me to have the Honey Badger eliminate 80 enemies. I feel like I gotta be close to 80. Got him. Yes, there we go. Target confirmed. The next trophy I went for was to eliminate 20 enemies in a row while in a vehicle. Oh, hey, hey, one second. Because if it... Yeah, I don't know. Drive by. There we go. I then began my second playthrough to collect all the intel and to complete every mission without dying or reloading a checkpoint. And on this playthrough, I played on recruit difficulty to make it easier for myself. All right, we are coming up on my 22nd piece of intel. I don't know why there's a trophy for 22. If you guys know, let me know in the comments. But there we go. The road less traveled. Collect 22 enemy intel items. There are 45 in total, as you see right here. After getting that piece of intel, I played through the rest of the missions until I found myself on the last one. All right, I am on my final mission. The final piece of intel is right Right here i don't know why he's running like that there we go leave no stone unturned collect 45 enemy intel items now we just got to finish this mission without dying or failing and we'll get the trophy <laughs> I took too much time trying to get that intel. That's on me. After failing right there, I was able to make it to the end of the mission without failing, but I began to worry if the trophy would actually pop. This is the moment of truth. Will the trophy pop? If this trophy doesn't pop, we're all going to be dead because I'm blowing the helicopter up. Oh, it didn't pop at first, so I was kind of worried. For the next trophy, I needed to kill 10 enemies in a row with the akimbo weapons. Oh, there they are. Found them. Now I got to kill 10 people in a row and we'll be good. Three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. To obtain this next trophy, I was going to have to become PETA's biggest nightmare because I was going to have to kill seven chickens in ten seconds. All right, now it is time to kill seven chickens in ten seconds. Okay, that was not ten seconds. Never mind, it was Colonel Sanderson. Kill seven chickens in under 10 seconds in the hornet's nest. I then hopped into the mission cliffhanger and put my stealth skills to use because I needed to plant the C4 without alerting or injuring anyone. This was definitely really easy with soap sniping all the people in my way. Plant the C4 in cliffhanger without alerting or injuring anyone in the blizzard. I didn't kill anyone. Soap did. So it's okay. Now, I need to get the trophy for knifing someone in the back without being spotted. Now, you may wonder, how did I never knife somebody without them knowing my first playthrough? And if you ask that question, stop asking. My stealth was so good that I didn't need to do it. Now, nah, I ended up just shooting everybody in every single situation. All right, target spotted right there. That guy. I got him. Trophy popping. So the next trophy that I'm going for is to not get my predator drone struck out of the air. So to get the trophy, instead of sitting right here, pulling up the drone and getting it shot out of the air, I'm going to slide down this hill right here. Shoot my teammates. And if I do this, it fails the mission. That's an interesting trophy that it has to be triggered with a failed checkpoint. All right, the next trophy that I'm going for is to kill five enemies in a row with five different weapons. I use the shotgun. Use th Who cares? All right, use this shotgun. Number three, four, five. Did I not kill somebody with this weapon? Desperado, I guess I didn't kill somebody with the shotgun. All right, so for the next trophy, I need to take down this helicopter with a grenade. Gotta cook it for a little longer and throw it. Okay, I'm gonna blow up if I don't let go of that. I think I'm out of grenades. This one's it, I feel it. 
This one feels even better, though. This one feels so much better, though. You know what I mean? Like, oh, got it on the first hit. The second hit should do it. There we go. Hot potato. First try. Absolutely nailed it. I then jumped into the mission Loose Ends because for my next trophy, I needed to kill 11 enemies with claymores. So now we just wait. I definitely have 10 claymores put down. And I've killed two people, I believe, with claymores. I really can't tell. I'll only know when the trophy does pop. Well, there goes my claymores. I'm hoping this is killing people. That was my last one. For the next trophy, I needed to complete a mission without reloading a weapon or using melee attacks. So I am in the most infamous mission in Call of Duty, I'd say. And I'm not going to be shooting a single bullet. You're allowed to shoot your weapon since the trophy is for not reloading. But I'm not going to be doing that just because I want to play it safe. I'm making a run for it. I think I go this way. The boys will follow. Probably not. I might have to fire off one or two shots, though. I'm going to have to shoot. There's no other way around it. So my plan of not firing a single bullet didn't work. No shit. I mean, guys, I was already up here. Uh, let's get in this ambulance and let's win. Let's let's get out of here. Big success for us. That was no message. What? Why'd you kill me? But hopefully the trophy pops because I did not reload at all. There we go, the real gun game. To obtain the next trophy, I needed to take down 10 choppers with the javelin launcher, and I was having issues getting this trophy because I was only seeing nine choppers. Nine. One more. Don't do me like this. I don't want to have to replay this whole mission. No. Give me one more. Damn. That's just a little annoying because I have to restart the whole mission now. I played through the mission two more times and the same thing happened again. I only saw nine choppers. But on this attempt right here, I realized the mistake I had been making. Nine. One more. One more. How am I one short again? Like, I can't lock onto these helicopters. They're just there. They're not really like actual enemy helicopter. Oh. Dude, wait, tell me we got that. No? Shit. I can lock onto these? Tell me we can get that. Five. Four, it's not going to reach in time. I reloaded the checkpoint and took down the two that were in front of me and then took my shot. This should be the last one. Now we wait. The yes! A lot of you probably like, hey, dumbass, there's a chopper right there. I thought I couldn't get that one because it was so far away because the other ones were so far away. My bad. The next trophy was pretty simple and to obtain it, I needed to destroy two BTRs without using the Predator drone. To get this next trophy, I had to ring both red bells in the museum and survive both attacks. And I did not really say much during these fights because I was very focused on surviving. How many more do we got? Hey, we got it. I then had to kill an enemy by hitting them in the head with a grenade. Eat that. Headbanger. Kill an enemy with the impact damage from a frag grenade to the head. So the next trophy that I'm going for, there's like clowns somewhere out here and I have to kill them. Here's the first clown. Clown in training. The U.S. Army Rangers ain't no place for clowns. The next two trophies that I'm going for are to complete this whole course in under 30 seconds and then to beat BX's time of 19.7 seconds. I think when I did this the first time, I got like 40 seconds, so I had to cut off a lot of time. This course took some trial and error, and I can't even lie, this was the most fun I've had going for a trophy in a while. And after slightly improving over time, I was finally able to have a run that was good enough for a trophy. I missed. That's under 30 seconds though. So I'll take it. Run the pit in under 30 seconds, but now I gotta get 10 seconds off of that. I kept doing runs and almost every single attempt was showing improvement. Oh, oh, could this be it? 21 seconds. Maybe, probably not though. I'm one second off. I'm so close. I am so close to getting this. Oh, this could be it. Oh, I thought that was the one. After reaching the 20s, I knew a sub 19.7 was nearing and I was ready to break BX's record. Here we go. This is it. This is it. Yes! The student surpasses the master. Beat the BX time with a 19.65.05 seconds under what I had to get. So the final trophy that we're going for is one I purposely saved for last, and it's to kill Shepard. No better way to get this platinum than to kill this man. Precognitive paranoia. Kill Shepard.
Is that all you got? Earn all available trophies for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Campaign Remastered. I hope you did enjoy this episode in the Random Platinum series. This was a very fun game, and I really enjoyed it. And I hope you're having a good day, night, evening, morning, afternoon, breakfast, lunch, dinner. Wherever you're at, whatever you're doing, have a good one.